All right, guys, Tiff here, and I have got my box of goodness from Kristen Van Belkenberg. And um, Piper, the dog that stays outside, the stray that came up, I've talked about her a few times. She's, she's pretty comical in bringing stuff up to her house. I have talked about the mini treasures that she brings. Well, this hole right here is from her. Thank goodness we got home right in time before she had, you can see right here where she's chewed on it, a field day with my box. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up. She was helping me out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Oh goodness. Okay, let me make sure I didn't leave any morsels behind. Oh, y'all know me and glitter. Oh, goodness. But aren't these beautiful and sparkly? What in the world will I come up with to use these for? Okay, so if this is your first time and you have no idea what's going on around here, this is a collaboration between myself and um, Kristen. And she, I've got her channel link below. Oh, I just can't contain myself, y'all. This ribbon so beautiful um and we are doing a collab called bite my palette and these are all of look at this how precious this is one of her faces <sighs> i love this so good mm. oh i'm excited all right oh and look at all the little doodads love doodads love this Okay, this has me excited already. Um, I did watch, I will tell you, I did watch her video before I opened this uh, because I wanted to give a genuine, like, um, reaction. Oh, my gosh. This circle confetti is so cool. Huh. Okay. Thinking about that. This is the journal, and she shows you how to make it on that video that just came out last Monday. So we're going to be working in it, and it is out of uh, very lush, awesome watercolor paper, and I love that it has that rough edge. Oh, Kristen, this is speaking my language. She is so kind and was like, hey, Tiff, let me send you a little journal to use for our project. Love this. Very cool. Oh, man, look at all the vintage yummy goodness. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side. I went because this is just really, ooh. So, these are the papers from her palettes. Bite my palette. Our palettes are similar in color. Um, she uses a lot more, like, glittery and glitzy stuff. And also, mine is a little more grungy. Y'all know how I roll. Oh my gosh, is this what she was talking about with the liquid glitter? Oh, I can get down with this shimmer right here. And guys, she used copy paper. Go back and check that video out. I feel like I sent her so many random like little scraps. Oh, heavens to Betsy. I hope she has enough to work with. Look at this color shift. This copy paper with the gesso and the and the things that she did really feels like um, canvas paper almost. It's so thick. Y'all, look at this sparkle. I already, when I saw this video, I already had like a quick little inspiration idea with this, which doesn't really happen in my world, but I'm digging it. I don't know if you can see that periwinkle color right there. Oh, I'm so happy. So textured. So delicious. And that's some more of that uh, the liquid glitter, which is so freaking cool. And I don't use glitter a lot because it like, you know, I mean, it spreads like wildfire. <gasps> Crack on my freaking heart. This is so freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. I love it so good. I can't even imagine how long that took. But look at all the great crackle that she got. All on cheap copy paper. Oh. Oh, Kristen. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh my 
gosh, this one is really, really thick. This is the one she did with the glass bead gel, I think. Y'all. Oh, my gosh. This. Can I lick it? I just want to lick this color pink with the shimmer. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. Whew. All right. This is just makes my heart go real fast. <gasps> oh my gosh, I think this is, I got to open it real quick. Um, because I'm excited, not because I'm pushed for time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think this is vintage wallpaper. I'm going straight directly into the, oh man, subscribe Louises! And it has my name on it. Okay, my initials. Okay, Tiff, got to go back here real quick. Oh, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. This is so beautiful. Oh, it has such great texture. All right, let's see what else she included. Some of these beautiful vintage photos. The originals. <gasps> Look, it's from 1917. Oh, fiddlesticks. This is amazing. Oh, girl, you spoil me. Spo <gasps> How precious is this? Oh my gosh, I feel like I did not send very good stuff, Kristen. I'm going to apologize ahead of time because your stuff is so good, so good, and so lush. And just look at this fonts and writing. This is just mind-blowing. I am feeling so very inspired and so... Oh, and she sent some cool, oh man, and it's got some cute little sayings in here. I'm already seeing it. Oh, this makes me happy. Oh, and uh, I watched her series with Alice in Wonderland, the book, and she sent me a few of the pages out of the book. So that's exciting. Thank you for that. And then, y'all know I just love vintage. I just love the story that they told in a previous life. And that's why I really enjoy using it in my work. So, I have got so many awesome things. I've never seen these, like, this big before. These, like, payroll stamp things. Oh, and I really like this, too. Huh. All right. So this is giving me so much inspiration all in one package. I encourage you, if you have friends who um, are into the same things that you are, have them swap a pack with you. It's amazing what a fresh, um, fresh, new, and then um, their painted papers can really do for your... Um, your inspiration. So I'm excited to get started on this project. So I will be rolling the footage of me using these products and right after this one. So I'm excited. Thank you so much, Kristen. These are awesome and I cannot wait to figure out where this takes me. So enjoy guys. Thanks so much, Kristen. I let me get busy and I'll get to work on making something with these. Thanks so much. All right, I'm back, and it is days later, and I am going to create in the beautiful journal that um, Krista made for us both to use, and I'm going in with that luscious teal turquoise uh, uh, papers. Now, if you didn't see the video of how she made these, it is so freaking cool, and it, it tears like almost like, I guess it is plastic now with the amount of like texture and gesso and stuff, but um, it's really cool. I really like how it feels. Now, I am dancing about, which is kind of my MO when I'm trying to get in my creative zone. And I first thought, Tiffany, why do you always bust out and dance? And because dance was really my first love when it comes to being creative. Um, I took dance for many, many years, jazz, tap, ballet. Um, my true love happened with uh, twirling, so I was a majorette, um, and I took the time from five to the time I graduated, and so, yeah, that is why I dance about, and so if you feel like you can't really get loose or break into that zone, you know, maybe try dancing. I also have been known to randomly sing about, so you know, but I'm taking all of these beautiful morsels and giblets um, off of this paper, and 
just tearing it a little bit and just kind of constructing this um, good nest of stuff in the corner now you saw that crackle paste and if you watch the video you know that she put like a really heavy application of crackle um which allowed that really deep textured um paper now what i decided to do to really make that crackle shine was to use a little of the uh, graphite and my um blending stop to see what it did and then I went back and added the Lyra graphite water soluble um crayon to just add some extra grunge grunge is my thing so I wanted to stay true to who I am even though I'm biting Kristen's palette today now I will tell you in a in some strange events um, I never, if you're new to my channel, I never go in with a plan. So I just allow the colors, the textures, the energy within the piece to take me where it wants to take me on that journey today. So I'm using this, um, I believe this is Arteza, um, hot pink, um, uh, like ink pen. Is it ink? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's ink pen. Um, and it will move just a touch with water if you catch it really early. Now, I will say shout out to Kristen for using really good watercolor paper. And this is where the change happened. So, in originally the orientation, I had the cluster of giblets going in the bottom. And then very quickly, um, when I moved it about, because it's my first page, it doesn't matter if it's upside down. And I mean, to be honest, it's your journal. If you want to do everything every page um in a different you know orientation then that's your business child go ahead and do what you do um but when I flipped it around I said oh I see you inspiration showing up girl I see you and so I am going to use the opportunity to create a face with very wild hair and the hair kind of headpiece slash maybe it's uh mm, hat who knows um i decided that it was the perfect little area to go ahead and make a wonky chick out of this now if you are new to my channel or you're just tuning in today to see what the heck this collaboration is all about make sure you go check out Kristen. um and her channel is going to be linked down below um, so we can see what she made with the giblets and papers that I sent her. Now, if you are saying to yourself, Tiff, I can't draw a face. Well, guys, I do have a face class out um, that is called Soulful Reflections. I show you easy, easy ways to make very abstract-like um, faces that do not take a lot of time. Because ain't nobody got time for that. So, I'm not trying to create a realistic piece here at all. I am wanting to let this energy of the hot pink and the teal and turquoise and shiny stuff um, really take a over and kind of create um, the message and energy that she's bringing forth today. So, I just absolutely love her. She is one cool chick. I could see us hanging out and having a mark or two. Then I was testing out the, um, the, uh, that pink because that was the Bria Reese. I think it's the same color that actually Kristen used. And when she used it, I was like, oh, TF, remember that product you got on clearance at Hobby Lobby? Yes, you still have that color. So I grabbed it because I couldn't really remember if it actually activated with water or not. And um, when I touched my paintbrush to it, you saw me. I was like, okay, I see you. You are activating with water and that's cool. So then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of gesso um, to smudge back just a touch and really make her kind of pop within that page um, and kind of give her a slightly, not ever so much dimension, but just a touch to make you know that she is a face standing out from the background. Um, I 
really, really enjoy playing. I will tell you, I was nervous going into this because you just, you're, I'm biting her palette, right? This is the name of the game. And I don't use a lot of glitters. I don't use... Um, a lot of the things that she sent me, but that's when it's fun, guys. So if you have a friend's a fa uh, person you met on Instagram, maybe you met them here on YouTube, see if you guys can do a little swap with the palette that they use and kind of challenge yourself to push yourself outside of your norm. That's one of the beauties of this. Now, I am going to go in here with a little bit of a chalk pastel. I'm going to touch it with a little bit of water. I don't know if it made any difference here or there, but I I did want to bring that turquoise from the top to the bottom just to kind of allow your eye to move around. I really, really appreciate you hanging out with me today. I am going to use um, some of the text paper that Kristen sent me, and I'm going to find um, a few words that really just resonated with what I thought her energy was saying. Um, and I determined the words were she wasn't to blame. And so I felt like her um eye, she was giving a little bit of a stank eye. Um, and I felt like that was just kind of also comical and something that I would say, hey, don't blame me. I ain't to blame for this. So um I did have a little bit of blue on my fingers, and you will see in the still shots at the very end. But I really enjoy playing with these colors. I think this is just going to be such a fun collaboration. I appreciate you being here. Make sure you subscribe. Leave me a message and tell me, do you have like a favorite? color palette and if so like what's your favorite colors i'd like to know that again go over check out kristen give us a little love hit that thumbs up leave us a comment and tell us what your favorite palette is and until next time guys to live